the urge to pee can be difficult to overcome. On Silas Health explains why and what you can do about it. Why do I feel like urinating all the time? The constant desire to urinate is a sign the body manifests to indicate that something is wrong. When the urinary rhythm is altered, it may be due to certain anomalies that must be attended to promptly to avoid physical and psychological complications, some that may limit daily activity. The most common causes that produce the desire to pee all the time include overactive bladder, associated with a sudden urge to urinate without being able to control it, resulting in the involuntary loss of fluid. Urinary tract infections, generated by microorganisms that enter through the urethra and contaminate the entire urinary system, manifesting discomfort, burning, pain and frequent urination. Cystitis, painful inflammation of the bladder wall which causes frequent urination and burning when we pee. Diabetes, a disease caused by excess blood glucose which the body tries to eliminate through repeated urination and, in some circumstances, leads to significant dehydration. Prostate hyperplasia. Linked to the enlargement of this gland in men, it progressively compresses the urethra and causes the desire to urinate in shorter intervals. Anxiety. Episodes of uncontrolled anxiety, also related to stress, can cause the urge to urinate continuously. Tumor or mass in the pelvic area. A very specific clinical condition that can manifest the desire to urinate all the time and even present urinary incontinence, although not always, and in addition to other symptoms. You can use the following strategies to solve the problem of needing to pee all the time. Drink water wisely. It's important to drink wisely to decrease the frequency of urination. According to urological research, it is not necessary to drink 8 glasses of water per day to be healthy. How much depends on the physicality, activity levels and other factors concerning the individual. For this reason, if your work is physically demanding, you sweat frequently or are generally more active, you will need to drink more than if you have a sedentary or less active daily routine. Ideally, your level of thirst should guide the amount of water you drink, although this is usually between 5 or 6 glasses per day. A significant indicator is the colour of urine, which should be pale to transparent. Do not go to the bathroom just in case. Many people have a habit of going to the bathroom without actually feeling the urge to urinate, something which can increase the urge to pee. Over time, this causes the bladder nerves to get used to more regular urination. They then send signals to the brain to go to the bathroom, even if the bladder is half empty, and cause a need to urinate urgently as if it were totally full. This situation gradually causes the maximum limit of urine holding capacity to decrease. Identify when you feel like urinating. Identifying the moments which can instigate a need to pee can help you fight the anticipatory anxiety they can cause. Such moments can include stressful situations, temperature changes, travelling or even simply washing your hands and face. This identification can help you better control your urinary urge and use appropriate tools to deal with it. If you find our videos useful, remember that giving us a super thanks can help us continue making the content you enjoy. Reduce the consumption of certain food and drinks. Coffee, fruits such as oranges, lemons and grapefruit, certain spicy foods, tomatoes, soft drinks and chocolate can often cause bladder problems that lead to frequent urination and involuntary discharge of urine. It is advisable to reduce the consumption of these products for at least three weeks to see if in any way the symptoms of frequent urination are improved. Then, every two days, one or two of them can be incorporated into the diet to determine which causes polyuria or urinary incontinence. By reducing the amounts of these foods, fruits and drinks, the sensation usually improves considerably. Train the pelvic floor. Training the perineal muscles is key to strengthening the pelvic floor, ensuring sphincter control and calming the urge to urinate all the time. When the muscles are weak or of an inadequate tone, their supporting function is deficient. This means the chances of suffering perineal dysfunction increase. In this sense, it's necessary to carry out specific exercises suitable for the individual to strengthen the perineal muscles and combat urinary urges, reducing the constant desire to urinate and managing to hold the urine until reaching the bathroom. If you are interested in learning some Kegel exercises, the info video we share above can help get you started. Establish a schedule to urinate. Scheduling a time to urinate is an effective behavioural therapy to control frequent urination. To do this, it's important to record the frequency with which you go to the bathroom. 
Add 15 minutes between each interval of the times you urinate to lengthen the time and gradually increase the time of the intervals until you can hold your pee for two to three hours between visits to the bathroom. And here is this on Salah's video on why you feel like urinating all the time and six ways to correct that situation. If you want to continue learning about other ailments, don't miss the playlist we share here. Let us know if these tips have helped you by sharing a comment below and we'll see you next time.